Hey, welcome, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. I hope everything's been going great for you this week. So this morning I was walking by my bookshelf and I was just scanning over the different books and pulled out one that I haven't read for a number of years and opened it up and wanted just to see some of the things I had highlighted, what had stood out to me, what I had written in the margins and stuff like that. And there was actually a folded up piece of paper in the middle of it. And so I opened up to that area and it was notes that I had taken for a talk that I had done a number of years ago. And so I ended up reading the section and I wanted to share some stuff with you from it today because it was talking about the different roles that we have in life, the different roles in our jobs, in our families, in everything we do. And it's one thing I want you to be thinking about today and we'll talk a little bit more about that, but it was talking about the different roles we have. And then he went on in a section that I'm just gonna read to you. He said, it's, sorry, it's the book, What Matters Most by Hiram Smith. He was from the Franklin Covey Company. So in, in there he says, let me return to my theatrical metaphor to recount the experience of David O. McKay, a great spiritual leader and teacher who was a source of inspiration to me in my formative years. In the early years of the 20th century, David McKay found himself in Stirling, Scotland, one of the ancient seats of the Scottish kings. He was far from home, working among people who did not care about the things he was trying to teach them. He was cold, hungry, and discouraged, ready to give up. Walking down an old street of the town, he looked up to see an inscription carved in the stone above a doorway. Whate'er thou art, act well thy part. More than six decades later, after he had become a major spiritual and moral leader, and near the end of his long life of service, I, had, I heard this man speak of the experience in Scotland. He talked about the abrupt change in perspective that that inscription over the doorway gave him at a critical moment in his life. He had never thought that he was filling a role in his life. Something deep inside him responded to the admonition of the inscription and read it, reading it, proved to be a turning point. It inspired him to do his utmost to accomplish his work in Scotland, and it continued to inspire him throughout his life of service to others. So I want you to think about that. What are all the different roles that you play in life? You know, employee, employer, entrepreneur, um, husband, wife, brother, sister, uncle, aunt. You look at all the different roles that you play in, in your life and take some time today and jot them down because there's hundreds of roles you play. And I think there's many of them that we take for granted that we don't put a lot of focus on because it's just the everyday life that we're living. But I want you to start looking at the roles that you're living and think about it. Whatever thou art, act well thy part. Are you doing the best that you can in that role? And think of it as you're interacting with different people when you're in that role. And are you doing the best that you can? Just something I want you to think about today. I just happened to pick that book up and I thought it was a great message and wanted to share it. Um, if you listen to my uh, podcast yesterday, the blog post that I talked about, the article that was going up yesterday, it ended up getting up quite late. So if you missed that, go to jeffhagey.com and it's the five habits to help you uh, achieve your dreams. I think that's what the title was, um, but go check it out. It's going to be on there today if you want to read that. And I hope that you're going to have a great day and we will talk to you again tomorrow. See ya.